Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, I'm Baby Girl Rams. Thanks for stopping by. I make videos related to lifestyle and medicine. And today I'm going to be doing a Caribbean Med School Q&A. So a couple months ago, I made a video on my Caribbean Medical School experience and what I wish I had done differently before applying. And surprisingly, that video did well. And someone reached out to me on Instagram and asked me a question. So I'm just going to read out the question and I'm pretty much going to answer it in this video and give you some tips if you're trying to apply. So the person said, hey beautiful, I hope you're doing well. I hope this message finds you well. Just watched your YouTube video about Caribbean schools. It's really insightful and thanks for sharing. Aww. Thank you. I'm reaching out to you because I have a few questions to ask about applying into medical school as an international student in the in Caribbean, so as an IMG basically. I have a university degree in anatomy from Adelike University of Nigeria and I'd like to apply to medical school. Do I need to do pre-med or write MCAT? If yes, how do I go about it? And if no, what do I need to apply into medical school? Which medical school is the best? I'm confused of deciding on which one is good. Thank you. I look forward to hearing from you and having you in advance. Best regards. All right. First of all, I'd like to say thank you very much. I really appreciate you reaching out to me and you appreciating my work. Thank you. Honestly, I mess with you. Yeah. And yes, yeah, secondly, to answer the question that she asked in different sections of this video, different Caribbean medical schools have different programs. So some Caribbean medical schools have four the four-year MD program and the five-year MD program. So the five-year MD program would pretty much have the pre-med and the MD. So the pre-med would be three semesters, pre-med one to three, and then the MD program would be your basic sciences and your clinical sciences. And some some schools just have the four-year MD program. So that would require, like her, she already has a degree. So that would require you to have your first degree and then you just go straight into the basic sciences. And then from the basic sciences, into the clinical sciences so now the second question which is what school to apply to and um, which ones are best so now i wouldn't say that anyone is best whether whether you do the pre-med or the md they are both okay depending on the background you have with medicine so if you do not have an undergrad degree then you would pretty much have to do pre-med and then go straight into basic sciences but if you do have an undergrad degree then you can just go straight into the four-year md program and for which Caribbean medical schools are the best, like I said in my previous video, you want to apply to a school that is going to help you and gear you towards your goal, which is matching into a US residency program ultimately. So now some schools, which are the low tier Caribbean schools, do not help you. Which brings me to my next point. So any advice that I would give to you in this video, I would feel like it would you would have to take it based off of you know your own pocket because some of these schools that are high tier are really really expensive so if you do not have a good financial support system or if you know or if you do not have like loans that you can apply for from your home country then it would be difficult which is why most people just settle for the lower tier schools basically like i said in my previous video also not all schools require you to, to write the mcat so some schools require you to write the mcat and some schools do not like it's not a compulsory prerequisite for every caribbean medical school i'm pretty much just going to give you like a list of schools that i consider to be good schools and when I say good schools, I say this based off of their residency match rates and their USMLE pass rates. So yeah, that's what I mean when I say good schools. Right, so in no particular order, the first one that I would recommend is St. George's University based in Grenada. So the tuition fee goes for $26,993 for basic sciences and for clinical sciences, it goes up to 29k so like i said med school costs a lot of money you need to have money if you're trying to go to med school period they are affiliated with um hospitals all over the u.s so you could do your rotations all over the u.s and 
they also have like affiliates with school with um, hospitals in the UK as well so I know people that are that have gone from St George's and transited into the UK if you're not trying to work in the US um, it's a pretty good school um, yeah they have the PR you can read all the reviews on the internet and yeah you can look up um, more details on it if you're trying to go there um, prior to COVID the MCAT was a requirement but since COVID that has been cancelled off so now I think they would pick students based off of other things like your undergrad GPA, personal statements and how well you do on the interview basically. Next is Rush University School of Medicine. Tuition fee is $24,170. This is in Dominica. It's a really good school as well if you have the funds. Yeah, this is another school that I would recommend. Next is American University of the Caribbean. The flat rate is $23,240. And also I need to add that some of these prices that I'm mentioning now, they are just the flat rate. So like there's other things that are going to add up and it's going to make the tuition even more. And the last is Saba University School of Medicine, which happens to be the cheapest and it is $18,825 and goes up to $21,950 for clinical clerkship. Yeah, so these are my four recommendations if you were trying to apply to med school in the Caribbean. But like I previously said, everyone's situation is different and not everyone can afford these high tier schools. If you cannot afford these high tier schools, what I would advise is to go for cheaper schools and just have it engraved in you that you're going to have to put in a lot of work to get to where you're trying to get to which is residency when I say put in a lot of work what I mean is you're going to have to study you're going to be determined you're going to be focused because I'm not going to discourage you because with a lot of determination and hard work you can get there but the motivation won't always be 100% and the reason for that is, honest to God, truth is, in these low tier, low tier schools, what's going to happen is everyone around you is not going to be working towards the same thing, if you get what I mean. And you know the thing where they say, birds of a feather flock together. What that means is, if everyone is not getting towards the same goal, it's not really easy to stay motivated all the time. But I would say the major difference across the board between the low tier high medical school and the high tier ones is that in the high tier ones, everyone is getting towards the same goal. So the school pretty much preps everybody for that one goal. That's just, that's the major difference. Honestly, if you don't take anything else out of this video, that's the only thing that I would say you should take out. So what makes, what makes the difference for the person that goes to the cheaper school is just your motivation. If you're a very determined person by yourself, if you're goal driven and if you're focused, you definitely can get there, but you just will have to put in the work. Hours and hours of studying, crying, feeling sad, feeling beat down, but trust me, you'll get there, you'll get there. Just work hard and stay focused, stay determined, you'll get there. All right guys, that brings me to the end of this video. It's pretty straightforward and pretty um, simple. If you have any questions, feel free to DM me. If you don't already follow me on Instagram, what are you doing? So watch your girl now. Support me, it's baby girl Rebs on Instagram, and yeah, follow me on Twitter as well. And stay tuned into this channel, and yeah, watch my other videos, like, comment, share, engage with my content. And yeah, I'll see you in my next video. All right, guys, bye. I got money on